six-part period drama has just started on ITV called Belgravia. I have just watched the first episode and I thought it would be interesting to see the real present-day Belgravia. It's produced by the same people who gave you Downton Abbey. Belgravia was developed from the 1820s onwards on land owned by Robert Grosvenor, the first Marquis of Westminster. The architects and surveyors were father and son, both named Thomas Cundy. The builder was Thomas Cubitt. We are starting in Chester Square. Turning right into Elizabeth Street. We are now in Eaton Square. are on red so we have time for a quick walk. Notice we are going past number 14, then 12A, then 12, then 11, and there's no number 13. The lights are about to change, so we shall go back to the car. Crossing Eaton Place, the location of the fictitious Bellamy's family home in Upstairs Downstairs. We shall take a short break and have a meander down Eaton Place.
We are now in Belgrave Square, the grandest of the squares. The four terraces were designed by George Basivi. This corner house is now the Royal College of Defence Studies, Seaford House designed by Philip Hardwick. Inside is the most amazing marble staircase. If you are curious to see the interior of some of these properties, I recommend you return during the weekend of 19th and 20th September. It's London Open House Weekend and a number of these properties are open to the public for free. Tucked behind the square is Wilton Crescent. The left fork leads to Knightsbridge. <coughs> Here is a statue of the man who made this all possible, the Marquis by Jonathan Wilder. His foot is resting on a milestone indicating 97 miles from Chester, his country home. He is accompanied by his Talbot dogs. The motto of Virtus non stimmer loosely translates to virtue not pomp. The Ruskin quote resonates. This estate is nearly 200 years old and looks magnificent. Other buildings around London have been demolished after just 30 years. Turning left into Grosvenor Crescent, at the far end on the left is the Lanesborough Hotel and on the right they are building the new London Peninsula Hotel. This is Grosvenor Gardens, built around 1868 by the architect Thomas Cundy III. It's in the French Renaissance style.
This is Victoria Square, designed by Sir Matthew Wyatt, son of the sculptor Matthew Coates Wyatt, and grandson of James Wyatt the architect. It was completed in 1840. The statue is of a young Queen Victoria who had recently become Queen.